Hello there Windows users. Welcome to another Windows 7 training video. My name is Brad Murphy with Ignite Network Solutions. In this video we are going to discuss how to show hidden files and folders in Microsoft Windows 7. Uh, some folders or files are hidden by default by the Windows operating system as Microsoft feels that modifying or accessing them could be harmful to your system and uh, these are usually folders that the average person does not need to access but they do have a way of showing these so if you need to go in and modify a file or if I have a video that you know you need to access a certain area that is hidden by default uh, this is the video that's going to show you how to make those folders or files visible so step one of doing this is opening the control panel. Click start and go to your control panel. And what we want to access, um, by the way, if for any reason you don't have these small icons, make sure under here by view by, it's selected on small icons. Uh, you may not be able to see this option if the category option is selected. So make sure small icons is selected and then click on this folder options icon when you click on folder options it's going to open up the folder options window and what we'll want to do is click on this middle tab right here that says view and right here near the top it says hidden files and folders and by default it's set to do not show hidden files folders or drives so what we're going to want to do is put a little check you know complete this bubble right here next to show hidden files folders and drives and just to kind of show you how this works before I click apply I'm gonna open up a folder so if I go computer C drive users and go ahead and um, open up my drive here so I'm gonna put this right here and kinda of keep an eye over here as I click apply you'll notice that a new uh, icon clicked up here app data and this is where Microsoft stores some of the user settings uh, this is important if uh, we're working in Microsoft Outlook and we want to get access to some uh, Outlook specific fo uh, folders or uh, icons now that Windows is showing the hidden files and folders we can go ahead and make whatever modifications we need to I don't recommend leaving the setting on by default uh, once you go in and you modify or change or, or delete whatever you need to using the show hidden files and folders options, I recommend getting back into the folder options and turning it back off and then clicking OK. There's really no need to have that on all the time and you want to minimize you know, the potential risk of damaging the install of Windows. So, And that's it. So. Hope this uh, video was of use to you. As always, hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions or email me at info at igniteNS.com. Thank you.